So obviously the first thing you've got to do is actually create your SharePoint lists. So here's the one I'm using. It's called Course Booking. And under the list settings, these are the uh, settings I used for the columns. So now in my application, if I go and run it, and I select Add, and now if I just type in some information, Paul Smith has put in the phone number, select a course, and if I just save that for now, so click here, that then goes and submits it. So if I come along to my list, you can see it down at the bottom here, there's the entry, Paul Smith. So it would be the same um, for creating a gallery. So on this form, if I selected a gallery, um, perhaps this one vertical, I would then have to wire it up to a data source. So again, if I select course booking, and you can see the data appearing here now and I could change the fields that I want to show so instead of email I could change it to something else perhaps course name and that would show it there at the top Spanish improvers so that's how you wire up a data source um, from your SharePoint list into Power Apps you can also create your Power Apps application directly from the SharePoint list so just up here you've got an option for Power Apps and if I click that I've got an option here to create an app. So at that point I could give it a name, click Create and Power Apps would go away and create a very simple app based on that SharePoint list. So there you go, it's created a basic browse screen, a detail screen and an edit screen. So you could just run it from here, select an item and as you can see all my SharePoint list details are appearing here. It's automatically wired up the data source and I can just go in and um, update or add new data and save it. So that's another way of using a SharePoint list within Power Apps. If you like this video, please click the button to like it, or why not subscribe to my channel? Or you can even download my free Power Apps for Newbies book at www.powerappsfornewbies.com.